how are attachment styles secretly affecting your deepest relationships? If you don't know, and if you don't know what attachment styles are, I'm here to teach you right now because there could be secret things impacting those relationships that you need to be aware of. And once you control them and you know about all about them, you can build a relationship with the perfect partner. Let's dive right into this. What are attachment styles first? Well, you've got three different types, four if you count the good one. The best one is secure, calm, loving. I understand where I'm coming from. I know I deserve to be loved. I'm going to get loved and I'm going to give love to other people. I'm not worried about my relationships. I trust other people. Yes, there are people like this out there. <laughs> yes, this is normal. This is the normal when we grow up in a healthy society, in a healthy family, without abuse, without trauma, without all these things that happen. Secure, loving connection. That's secure attachment style. They are open, they're connected, they're ready to work as a team. You can see how that would be easy to be in a relationship with. But studies show and research suggest that somewhere between 40 and 50% of adults in America don't have a secure attachment style. They're broken up into the other three, the insecure types. Three insecure types. Number one is anxious. Anxious secure type. You get into an anxious attachment style. You get into a relationship and you become eager to please. You are trying so hard to make the other person like you. You're trying to get their approval. You work so hard not to be abandoned. You think there's something wrong with you deep down on the inside that they'll see if they stop and pause and look at you long enough that you're worthless. So you try to make them so happy. They, if they ever see it, they won't leave you. That's the anxious type. And you're awake all night long. You can't rest. You can't stop because you're constantly thinking about the things that you might have said wrong. If that's you, or if that's your partner, anxious style, anxious style. Up next is the avoidant style. Now this is very similar, almost opposite, but similar on the inside. I'm hurt. People have hurt me. Maybe there was abuse. Maybe I've got a really strong personality and I, I push back because I don't like what's happening to me. I just, I don't just take it and try to be nice. I push. You say, no, no, I'm going to keep a wall up. I'm going to keep a wall up and be very direct about it. And I'm not letting people in. I'm not here to eagerly please people. They can please me. I, I'm not here for them. I'm not here for that. And you push back. These are people who make a lot of proud comments about how they have never let anyone inside and it's all about them and they are the only person they need in life. A lot of times it's that. It's the avoidant attachment style. It can come from a lot of abuse and other factors too. If that has been your experience, or if you're in a relationship with someone like that, it's very hard, especially the avoidant and the anxious when they're in relationships like that. One is constantly trying to please the other and the other will never be pleased, but can't ever open up and be vulnerable because they're afraid that the pleaser will then turn on them. Almost impossible. Third one, third attachment style disorganized. It's a flipping of the two. It's that hot and cold of I'm super open. I love you. Oh wait, no, no, I'm not. Get away from me. And pushing back and, and keeping at arm's length. And it's the charming and then cold and charming and cold. It's that. That is disorganized. And, and only a small, maybe about 5%, maybe 5 to 10% of people have that one. It's very small, but it's still there. It's still there and it happens. These three attachment styles, if you have them or if your partner has them, these can make relationships very difficult because either way, either you're approval seeking or, or pushing back or a mix, you can't be honest. You can't open up and show who you are. The secure attachment style builds healthy long-term relationships because you can be open and say, hey, you know what? I don't like this thing. Could we do this over here instead? Hey, I don't, I don't really like this. Could we fix this? Hey, this isn't going great. C could we soup this up together? We are a team. Let's open up and work on this together. No, I don't have any secrets here. Look at my phone. Look at whatever it is. I, I have no problem. That's fine. Hey, let's talk about our goals. Yeah, here's what I want. Here's what I value. Here are my thoughts. Here's my ideas. You can openly talk about it. And this is where affairs don't happen because everything is on the table. Everything is connected. Everything is aware and open and, and free and honest. And you can, you can see problems coming from five miles away and solve them when they're this big. If you're in relationships where problems blow up on you, if you're in relationships where you get resentful and hurt, you get mistreated, maybe you think it's, it's good to be mistreated in a way because at least the person's being honest because that's all you deserve. If you're, in, if you're an anxious person who's in relationships with avoidant people a lot, it's so hard. It is so hard. The way you fix this is you fix your attachment style. Yes, yes, you can fix your attachment styles. You can change it. 
You can change these. These are not fixed for life. These are how you currently are based on how your parents set you up and, and trained you to be, but you don't have to stay here. This is one of my biggest problems with attachment styles is people hit these and then say, that's just who I am. No, no, you might be anxious. You might be avoidant. You don't have to be that because you, you will not build a happy, fulfilling life if your relationships are in total disarray like this. You'll hate yourself. You'll be. You'll say, my life has been miserable. I, I don't know what to do. I have all these regrets. You can do this. You can fix this. I mean, I, I literally wrote the book on fixing this. My book, Slaying Your Fear on Amazon, is five bucks. I'm an attachment specialist. I do coaching. I do one-on-one -on -one trainings with people to go into your life and say, here's what's wrong. Let's fix this. Let's fix this. Add this piece. Have this conversation with this person. Do this phrase. I show you step-by-step -step every part of your life, how to map that out and get to the secure attachment and stay there. And then that's how you build that perfect partnership with, with someone loving and kind who isn't going to mistreat you, isn't going to just try to endlessly please you without ever being honest with you, isn't going to keep you at arm's length or play hot and cold. They will say, no, here, here's who I am. Here's what I want. Let's work together on this. Let, let's connect and, and love each other for the rest of our lives. If you want to build that life that you love, that life that matters, that connected life, you have to shift your attachment style from insecure, whatever insecure, to secure. And you can do that. I've written the book. I do the coaching. I, I have all these trainings on this YouTube channel for it. Everywhere I go, this is what I talk about. I want you to go from insecure to secure. Remember that 40 to 50% of people who are insecure? That's too much. That's too much. We, we've got to shift everybody back to secure because that makes all of our lives better. All of them. You can do this for yourself. You can live this life that you've been wanting to live. It's shifting from insecure attachment to secure attachment. My book, Slaying Your Fear, will show you how to do that. I can show you how to do that in coaching. Whatever works, whatever you need. Do me a favor. Leave me a comment at the bottom of this video and say, hey, I think I'm blank. I think I'm blank. How do I get from, secure, from that to secure? Leave me comments. Ask me questions. I love questions. This is not just me ranting at this video channel. I love these questions. Let's keep this conversation going. Leave me those comments, like, and subscribe. See the things that I post, watch them, see if they're to your taste. It might be that it's time for you to go from insecure to secure. If you're watching this and you're wondering, you're getting close. You're getting really close. For more information, go back on my channel, look at the second video, it's called What is Attachment? Look at that, then there's another video called Why Broken Attachment is Dangerous in Your Relationships? Watch that one. I've got a ton of free material in here for you to watch. Watch them and get started. Thank you.